So let's open it up. Hey Explorers, and I am back today for part three of my Delta Sky Miles American Express credit cards walkthrough. And today we're going to go over the reserve. I just upgraded from the Platinum to the um, Delta Sky Miles Reserve American Express credit card. So in this video, we're gonna talk about the annual fee, the interest rate, the um, how you earn, the benefits. I haven't really used it yet, but I'll just tell my opinion on it and um, what the current signup bonus is. So, and I'll compare it to the other two credit cards as well throughout the video. So let's get into today's video. But before we get into today's video, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and the notification bell right next to it so you'll be notified when all of my videos are released. Videos are released on Tuesdays at 4 p.m. Eastern Time and Thursdays at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. And on my channel, I talk about all things travel and a little bit of photography. Now let's get into today's video. All right, so I just got my Delta Sky Miles Reserve credit card in the mail via UPS yesterday. And I haven't opened the box because I was like, oh, I'm gonna record a video of me unboxing it. It is such a nice box. <laughs> like, I feel so fancy. So let's open it up. Ah. So as I open this up, I will tell you about the different things. Let's start with the annual fee. Annual fee is hefty. You pay the price for the reserve credit card. The annual fee is $550 a year, okay? And the interest rate, similar to the gold and the platinum, the better your credit score, the lower your interest rate, the lower your credit score, the higher interest rate per month and they have the same estimate online as the other two credit cards from 15.74% to 24.74% as of today, June 5th, 2021. All right, so how do you earn points with the Delta Sky Miles Reserve credit card? It's a little different than the Platinum and the Gold. You only earn points by, you, by getting three times Delta purchases and one time on everything else. As you know, with the Platinum, you got three times on Delta purchases, as well as three times on hotels, two times on groceries, and two times on um, dining, and one time on everything else. With the gold, you got two time on Delta purchases, dining, and groceries, and one time on everything else. So when I say one time, two time, three time, three time means three time on Delta purchases. If you spend $100 on Delta purchases, you'll get 300 miles or points to use on Delta.com. So that structure sucks compared to the platinum, okay? And kind of sucks compared to the gold, but they have a lot of benefits here. All right, so now let's talk about the benefits for the Delta Sky Miles Reserve American Express credit card. And they actually sent these cards in this box, so I won't have to look at all of my notes. These are like their main features for the reserve, um, but I'll go over the other ones as well. So first, there is a concierge service. This is something that the platinum nor the gold credit card had. So this card comes with a 24 seven concierge staff to help book the perfect hotel, a relaxing spa day or a dinner reservation at the best spot in town. Another one is similar to what the platinum credit card have is a fee credit for a TSA pre-check or global entry. So you receive either a $100 statement credit for global entry or $85 credit for TSA pre-check. And this is something that you'll have, um, that you'll be able to get to it for four to five year period, depending on what it is. But you only get one credit during that time period. But it's great. I just used it on the Platinum a few months ago and it went through immediately. Another benefit is upgrade priority. If you have medallion status with Delta, when you're up for a complimentary upgrade against medallion members of the same tier and fair class grouping, you have an edge over nine card members with the reserve. And if you don't have a medallion status, your card adds to the complimentary upgrade list after medallion members. So if you're a medallion member and have the credit card, you have higher chances of getting a free upgrade with Delta. And that was one of my bigger, one of my 
reasons why I switched to the reserve because of a higher chance of getting upgraded. So we'll see what happens in the next year if that works or not. <laughs> Same as the Platinum credit card, you get a companion certificate. So you enjoy a companion certificate for one domestic round trip flight per year in your choice of first class Delta Comfort Plus or main camp and with an annual companion certificate up on card renewal. You also get free access to Delta Sky Clubs. So your card gives you complimentary access to Delta Sky Club locations. So you can dine, drink, work, or unwind before your Delta flight. And you can also share the experiences with two one-time guest passes each year to bring a family member or friends um, when they also fly Delta. And after that, you can get passes for your guests at $39 per person. But you also get free access to the Centurion Lounge. So you access more airport retreats around the world with complimentary access to the American Express Centurion Lounge when you book your Delta flight with your reserve card. And with that, you can um, pay for up to two guests, I believe, with, uh, I think it's like $50, do I have it here? I can't find it. But it's, I think it's $50 per person. So, but you can get more information at the centurionlounge.com for that. So I'm gonna go through my notes here to see what some other benefits are. Similar to the gold and platinum credit cards, you get 20% back in in-flight purchases. There's American Express Experiences, which is similar to the gold and platinum credit cards. You get American Express preferred seating. So when you're at an event, there may be a section specifically for American Express members. You get the pre-sale just like the platinum credit card. Um, so if your favorite concert goes, you know, has a pre-sale and they, you have to have an American Express credit card, this card is allowed to be used and you can enter into the pre-sale. Just like the Platinum credit card, you have cell phone protection. There's also a global dining collection benefit that you can work through with the concierge service. There's no foreign transaction fees, which all of the Delta Sky Miles credit cards have. And some other benefits, they have return protection, shop runner, Oh, also there is the status boost. So how can I forget this benefit? Status boost, MQD waiver. So with the status boost, you can earn medallion status just by spending on your card. And here's how. You can earn 15,000 MQMs or medallion qualification miles after you spend $30,000 in purchases on your card in the annual, in a calendar year up to four times. So 15,000 per threshold. And then with this, you get with the medallion qualification dollar waiver, once you spend $25,000 on your credit card, it waives that um, part of the medallion tier um, for the gold, silver, and platinum tiers, or I should say silver, gold, platinum, that's how it goes, in a calendar year. So that is a major one. Um, the platinum credit card had that as well. The difference with the platinum credit card is once you spent the $25,000 in a year, you will only get 10,000 um, MQ MQMs. So hard to say that for some reason, MQMs. And you can only do that two times a year. So they also have the auto purchasing program. They have trip cancellation, interruption insurance, trip delay insurance, upgrade priority, baggage insurance plan, car rental insurance, car rental loss and damage insurance, extended warranty, and purchase protection. So a lot of coverage here. So for me, I just upgraded to it because of the higher likelihood of getting upgraded on a flight, as well as access to the lounges for free, <laughs> because I don't go into lounges because I don't wanna pay anything for them. So I'll definitely be taking full advantage of them and I still got to keep all of my other perks. And so I definitely really am interested in this credit card. So we'll see how it is. We'll see what happens over the next year and see if I really do enjoy the reserve and I'll come back and give a full review, but it's gonna take some time. I can't give a review right away. So right now, if you are a new card member and you apply for this credit card, you get 50,000 bonus points and 10,000 medallion qualification miles. So right now you'll get pretty much 60,000 miles. Whereas with the gold card, you got 40,000 miles. 
period. With the platinum card, you get 50,000 miles, period. But with the reserve, you get 60,000 miles, but 10,000 of them go towards your qualification status to move up in tier with Delta. But you have to spend $3,000 in purchases within three months. And you also get $100 back in credit once you spend, when you spend money on eligible US restaurants. So that is currently the sign up bonus as of June 5th, 2021. Obviously it may change or it may be different if you're getting a special upgrade offer from American Express. So if you're interested in applying and experiencing the world together, <laughs> you can go to my description box. I'll leave a referral code down below. And also I'll leave with that referral code what you will get in benefits. So if you have any questions about the reserve credit card, leave them down below in the description box. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button. Also, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And make sure you share this video with your friends, family, and social media networks. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day or night wherever in the world you are. Bye.